Well, what's up everybody? <laughs> we got a cool little freaking present today. So, runs have been getting a little boring and if you don't know this about me, I've been into minimalist type running for years but never really went further than just dabbling with some five fingers or doing some small barefoot sections here and there. Um, but that was before I got in, like really into running. Um, recently I just ran my first marathon and I did them in Hoka Bondi Sixes, which uh, if you know anything about shoes, those are probably the most maximal shoes you could possibly buy. Um, so I'm not like a barefoot purist or anything like that, but I've been trying to do more barefoot running because I have been dealing with chronic knee issues this whole past year. Basically, whenever I start, you know, increasing my mileage uh, past a certain point, maybe um, 40 miles, I would start getting some knee pain. And I am a bit of a heavier runner, so most likely that does have something to do with it, but it is unilateral pain. It's only on my left side. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that doing a little bit more barefoot running, getting more of that sensory uh, perception on my feet is gonna definitely help me um, correct some form issues if there is any. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, stretching and other exercises like squats, lunges, a um, little bit of other band work and stuff like that, but I need to start taking it a lot more religiously, especially core work. I've been just pretty dang lazy. But yeah, I'm focusing my training on a 50K that's coming up this June, which is the Broken Arrow Sky Race. It's gonna be my first 50K, and it has about 10,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's mainly gonna be a lot of hiking, but it's gonna be definitely hard for me. I've never done anything close to, you know, approaching the eight to 10 hour mark, which I'm very sure I'm gonna at least be in um, to finish that race. Um, but right now, um, let's check these babies out. Definitely gonna be something for uh, the more adventurous types. definitely gonna be a different trip. Uh, I'm not planning on using these 100% for anything. This is just gonna be more of keeping running fun and having a new experience out on the trails. I'm freaking definitely stoked to try these out. <laughs> it's freaking cool. Alrighty y'all, don't clown me too hard, but I got a big toenail that's actually pretty uh, narbar, okay? <laughs> Um, about two years ago, I was moshing uh, at Knotfest and I had some boots that were a bit too small. So both of my big toenails fell off and I got left with one toenail that is actually sad. So anyways, this is what we're dealing with, people. So we're gonna see how this goes. I got... Um, some anti-chafe stuff that I'm going to be bringing with me and definitely a backup pair of shoes but I'm going to try to go about six miles on these bad boys and we will see how it goes. All right first mile down I don't feel like my feet are going to fall off so that's good. When I was running down hills I noticed that I wanted a pitter-patter not because of you know forces on my joints but just because i wanted to avoid the force on my uh in between my toe which actually that could be a pretty beneficial cue if anything these are not like vibrams like vibram five fingers i could feel almost everything you know but these dampen everything honestly Oh, 
Oh man. Dead snake. Already? It's freaking January. Well, learning experience number one. Don't put them on too damn tight. Got a little bit of a um, friction wear on my skin between my toes. Nothing too serious, it's not bleeding or anything. Um, but I attribute it to uh, being too dang tight. Even the top of my foot was starting to develop like a little bit of a hot spot. And I loosened them up. It seems to be just fine. So yeah, overall, honestly, the sandals are pretty damn comfortable. I feel like if I were to break these guys into my feet, once I get, you know, adequate calluses and everything and my nerves get kind of used to everything, I definitely see myself wearing these on the regular. Um, we'll see how it works out, you know, 500 miles in or whatever, but um, honestly, it feels pretty dang comfortable. Being able to uh, grab onto the trail and really feel like my feet being able to move and maneuver on the trail is definitely um, a plus versus, you know, more cramped uh, shoe wear. <clears throat> but yeah, the most uncomfortable part for me right now is the toe post, but I really feel like once my feet get accustomed to it, um, it won't be any issue. Um, I never wear sandals, so definitely that's probably part of it. Um, but yeah, being able to have the sun on my feet and everything feels pretty freaking awesome. I think just the cue of having no uh, cover over my foot is giving me this thought to keep my feet safe and have a, have a softer landing in general. Um, the thickness of the sole is perfect. Uh, the grip on the trail is kind of lackluster you know versus me being able to dig into like you know like an innovate sole or uh something more beefy of course um but it's adequate i don't see myself having any issue um would i want to wear these on like a super technical trail uh like massive um elevation like uh steep uphills and steep downhills probably not because of the issue I was talking about with the toe post and all that but honestly I'm pretty freaking impressed with my ability to just wear these and go five miles and not have any serious issues I do have one little small spot that's rubbed um, raw but it's like really freaking minuscule I don't even feel it touching it right now so uh, yeah overall freaking pretty impressed <laughs>